Welcome back, little beans. Warning. The following ASMR is only aimed for beans who are in the need for comfort and positive energy from a favorite anime character. There will be a lot of NSFWs in this ASMR, but it's still for all ages and it's PG-13. However, if you feel uncomfortable from videos like this, then click off. To the ones who are staying, go right ahead and get all cozy in your blinkies, plop in your headphones, snag on some pockies, and enjoy this ASMR. <laughs> Oh, hello listener. It appears you're awake. I guess you're wondering, now. How are you in here? Well, I spotted you napping in the forest. And it began to rain. Let's say I was taking a little stroll until I spotted you. I saw a few come here ants trying to kill you. So, I grabbed you and put you back in my little colony. Why, of course. I didn't want to leave you over there. And plus, you're my little pup. Oh, did you forget, Neil? Of course you're my little pup. I owe you. <laughs> well, you want to owe me. For saving you from being killed by those other Chimera ants. Oh, pup, you're so adorable, Neil. Oh, yes, I even gave you some new clothes. Well, yeah, I stripped you off of your clothes and I gave you some fresh new ones. Let's say I found them from some farmer's market. I stole them. I thought they would look cute on you. I just got them today. I hope you like it. It may be a little too big, but I love adorable and big clothing. Yeah, I speak the truth. <laughs> I have to say so for myself. You are quite beautiful. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, I didn't strip all of you. I still kept your oh, little cover-ups for your body parts. It's just your shirt and dress. Mm -hmm. Huh? Well, other Khmer ants can do that because they don't know much about anatomy on humans or pup folks just like you. I just taught myself to be a proper gentleman. Just for my king. Yeah? Uh, sweet of me. Well, your clothes were soaked and wet. I even have to dry your hair with us. With the warm cloth. Mm. I was gonna give you a tongue bath, but... I'll respect your privacy and all. Mm. I mean, I did like your face a little bit. Yeah? Well, you tasted sweet in my opinion. I gotta say, the sweetest tasting pup you have ever tasted. Hopefully if I said that correctly. I don't know anymore, Meow. Uh, what are you doing, Liz? Uh, uh, uh. Uh. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> oh, under there. <laughs> Oh, thank you. No one has ever done that to me. I'm so used to being punched in the face or whatnot. <laughs> oh, that was nice. Oh, no, I've never been petted before. I didn't know I could make that sound. Well, I read a book about cats because I was referred as a cat boy. It appears when a cat purrs, it actually feels happy. Yeah? <laughs> of course I am happy. I'm actually glad to see you again. 
I'd say it's been miserable for the past few days protecting the king and his human lover. I'm actually glad I got to see you again. Well, what's the word I'm trying to look for, Mia? Hmm. I miss you. Yeah, I miss you, listener. Yeah, I couldn't get you out of my head. Whenever you leave, you're in my mind, in my eyes, and I can hear your voice in my ears. Even thinking about your name makes my insides feel weird. Hmm. You do indeed make me happy for some reason. Even my king would think, why am I making such weird purring sounds? That I didn't know of. Huh? What's that? Oh, wait! I know what it means. Does that mean it's mouth to mouth? Is that what a kiss is? know what a kiss is, but you can show me, Meow. Don't worry, I won't do anything. Go on. Oh. That felt pretty short. Wait, there's more? Oh. Hmm. Can we do that? You gotta show me, puppy, because I don't know much about this stuff. Excuse me, listener. You... like me. <laughs> I like you too, listener. Ever since I met you, I didn't know what to do with you. But something stopped me from doing something so horrible. Well, I was made to be a servant for the king, and whatever gets in my way, I destroy it. But, for you, I didn't want to do anything bad. Mm. I think Miriam, my king, said this word that he feels about this human girl he is interested in. What's the word? Oh! I know now. I think... I'm in love with you, listener. <laughs> Your face is so red, Mia. Is that a bad thing? Or is it a good thing? Oh, please tell me, listener, Mia. Oh, why are you feeling so shy? Do you love me as well? <laughs> to be honest, I never had a mate before. Maybe this is the correct way to find one. So tell them that they love you. Am I correct? Oh, really? <laughs> it appears that we're both in love with one another. <laughs> well, I love you, listener. Yeah. <laughs> oh, another thing that I found out what two people that love each other do. It's like a mating ritual. Oh, you know about it. Care to explain? Why are you turning red? I am so curious about this whole mating ritual between two people that love each other. 
try to explain it in okay details. You're up for it. <laughs> I mean, we're both here and we love each other. And it's just you and me in this cave. <laughs> well, alright. It appears I'll go easy on you, my little puppy. At least I'll get to see more of your beautiful insides. Of course you're beautiful. I guess you like it how I say it. You are perfect, listener. <laughs> Let's get this mating ritual started, shall we? Yeah. <laughs> 